Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Silvana and today I'll be sharing some of the things that I won't be buying or wearing in 2023. And obviously what I'll be wearing or buying instead. For someone who does what I do for a living, it's no secret that I am pretty much aware of what I buy. But as I've gotten older, I became even more aware. I want my wardrobe to work even harder for me. I want maximum style and comfort and minimum effort. No one wants to start the year with unwanted baggage, which is why before breaking the seal on a new calendar, I always make it a priority to clear out all the clothes, bags, shoes that no longer suit my style and making room for the ones that will be more in line with how I want to perceive myself and how I want to be heading into the 365 days ahead. The close of another year prompts a lot of reflection on me and provides opportunity for renewal. Some of the things I'll be teaching are trends, and although I said many times that I don't follow trends much, this is only to a certain extent. For one, trends are good for making you look current. They are the icing on the cake, I say, when you wear them with wisdom and with reason. But there are some trends that are so pervasive that there's not a lot of options out there except them. Case in point is the oversized everything that is being going on for quite some time now. I guess it's almost a conundrum. We're caught in a situation where we can't find what we want and need. On the other hand, if we do find something that we want or need, we may look like we are outdated because everybody else is sold on the idea of the oversized. So if you wear something a little bit more fitted, you will be considered passe or dated or, or anything like that. So this is sometimes what the industry imposes on us. Personally, honestly, I wouldn't be so concerned about what other people think of me. If I look good, if I feel good, that's for me are the most important things. As mature women, I guess we all got to a point where other opinions don't matter that much. At least they shouldn't. I really hope that the fashion industry gets a little bit more democratic, so let me know what your thoughts are on that. I would like to discuss that with you. So I think this year I want to go back to basics as a foundation to my wardrobe, simplifying styles and lines so I can experiment on the other hand with textures, with colors and why not patterns. I feel like eliminating everything that makes styling difficult. I want to make my life more simple. So I really hope you enjoy this video and you find this useful. So one of the things that I will stop wearing or minimize wearing is obviously oversized things. And this is a style that was created by the Scandinavian. I find it very cool, don't get me wrong. But Scandinavians are, for the most part, tall and slim women. And this is something that doesn't suit women like myself with curves and real bodies. This is a style that won't go anywhere. We will stay around for a while still. So my way of getting around this is getting sizes that are one or two sizes smaller. So that's my way of minimizing the impact, not creating a lot of unnecessary volume around my body, which is never very complimentary. An overall oversized blazer hides my waistline, making me bigger than I actually am. Because my waist is the smallest part of my torso, this year I'll be investing in slim fit pieces with some color, preferably with a nipped in waist to enhance my shape that I can wear with both odd shaped pieces as well as my old classics. And it's not as conservative as a classic fitted blazer. The other thing that I won't be wearing is trends in general. I will be minimizing the wear of trends as much as I can. I never wear too many trends anyway, but I find that every time I try a trend and I wear a trend, I get tired of it 
pretty quickly, so it's never worth the money, regardless of how much I pay for the item. I'm thinking I want to go back to the times where I didn't want to wear what everybody else was wearing. Of course, I was too radical, I was too young, and I make that up you know, really, really to an extreme. I'm not gonna be that extreme, but at the same time, I wanna be trying with things that make me feel exclusive and unique and myself. That sentiment, that feeling of feeling yourself is priceless, and I wanna go back to there more and more. Which doesn't mean that I'll be, you know, wearing only classics in neutral colors, nothing like that. It's quite the opposite. I'll be wearing unique pieces, but that just not trendy pieces, not something that is pervasive that everybody else is wearing and you have you see in the mainstream and this kind of things. So I would dig more vintage pieces or I don't know, I'll be creative. I'm, I might draw something and take to a tailor or something like that. So that's my goal for this year. This year, I'll definitely be ditching the exaggerated puffy sleeves. Don't get me wrong, I like puffy sleeves, but not the overly done ones. And I have to say that I had fun with them, to my friend's consternation. This is one of those what I was thinking moments that even as a stylist, aren't immune from. I won't definitely be eradicating them completely. I'll just wear something more subtle. After all, I'm a Simone Rocha friend to the end. But I think I will stick to more body conscious tops because that's what my body looks better in. Vests, although trending at the moment, are considered classics. Therefore, it's a good one for me because I know when the trend subsides, I'll still wear them. Besides, they are fun and add personality and charm to my outfit, which is in line with how I wanna feel this year. And that leads me to the next thing that I'll be wearing less and less this year. And practicality certainly has its place in fashion, but ever since Victoria Beckham gave us the blessing for flats, I really never looked back. White heels look fabulous in photos. The reality of wearing them on a constantly basis has never made the investment worth for me. I've been wearing lower and lower heels. This year we even see me looking for pretty flats. Luckily, there's no shortage of those at the moment, even with some embellishment for those days when I want to keep my outfit simple. So the next thing I'll be wearing less of is earthy neutrals. Earthy neutrals are classics. Don't be alarmed. They're not going anywhere. They're not getting out of style. But perhaps mixed with a bit of color. I guess maybe because we are all craving for color. I know that I am. For me, color is energy. I miss the injection of energy from time to time. So obviously I won't stop wearing my neutrals because they will be the anchor. I'm not the kind of person that will be wearing vibrant colors from head to toe, although I might, but I always like to mix and match more pastel colors or neutral colors with vibrant colors or any other color for that matter. It doesn't need to be vibrant, but I want some injection of color in my wardrobe. I want to play with some textures and I want to make the outfit interesting in that way. Playing with classics, but inserting some elements of style to them. The next thing that I will be reducing quite a bit is wearing one-piece clothing. And by that I mean a jumpsuit or a dress. I, I am a big fan of those, don't get me wrong again, these are things that I will always have in my wardrobe. Although one-piece clothing provide maximum impact for sure, they don't work as hard as I'd like them to. So I'll be keeping them to a minimum in my wardrobe. And this year I'll be relying more on separates that can mix and match with other pieces for variety and versatility. They also work really well to camouflage your body shape, allowing you to split sizes in tops and bottoms for a better fit. One of the things that I will not be buying at all this year, or never for that matter, is micro bags. They're not practical, they don't fit anything, and I think their days are gone. 
I prefer bags that you can carry your wallet and a few other necessary items. So in 2023, I'll be aiming for roomy bags in not so predictable shapes. In this case, I'll be opting for a neutral color. After all, I still want style in my accessories. The next thing that I'll definitely not be wearing is low rise. And although I find it very cool, I don't think this suits my body type. I want to tuck in my tummy area. This is the style that suits better those who don't have curves, who have uh, flat hips and don't have a waist definition. Looks good on tall people, um, definitely not on me. And this is something that I won't be wearing. I will be wearing different style of pants though. All high rise. I'm experimenting with cargo and taper pants at the moment. The juxtaposition of relax with these sleek pieces in the same family colors plus the addition of unexpected citrusy color shoes really works. And definitely something that I wasn't open before because I've always thought since I was in fashion school that taper pants don't look good in hourglass body types. But this is something that can change things. You can wear anything if it's the right fit, right? So depending on how it's made and how it was cut, it can work for you. And I, I was open to try cargo pants and and I was very glad that I gave myself another option and another style to play with other than just wide leg pants. The one thing that I'll be ditching this year is oversized cat eyes. And sunglasses aren't cheap so I'm not going to toss out my current ones. The oversized cat eye frames will come back. They are a classic after all. For the time being, I'll just give them a rest. As fashion moves closer to 90s, slim sunglasses have a chance to shine again. This also lets your face show a little more and the weight won't mess with your makeup. Overall, slim sunglasses are a win-win. There are so many new styles on the market too. So this year, I will let my personality sit right on my face. So that was it for today, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. The current climate is overwhelming and I'm pretty much looking for it for a vibe shift. So this year for me will be all about going back to my roots and expressing myself with more creativity, even more. Remember, you can be anything you want. Don't forget to let me know which items you'll be ditching or adopting this year. I'd love to interact with you. Have a great week and I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao everyone.